Hello and welcome to quiz class. Today we have 100 questions on the music of the 1960s. So let's check your knowledge with question number one. Which musician released the most popular version of Georgia on my mind in 1960? James Brown, Ray Charles, or Otis Redding? Ray Charles. Which 1960s musical film features Louis Armstrong as a band leader and an old friend of the titular character? Hello Dolly, Bye Bye Birdie, or Oliver? Hello Dolly. Who was the lead singer of the Miracles, Motown's first million dollar act? Lionel Richie, Charlie Wilson, or Smokey Robinson? Smokey Robinson. Which of these singers was not a member of the Supremes? Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, or Mary Wilson? Aretha Franklin. Which pop duo released their debut single, I Got You Babe, in 1965? Sonny and Cher, Ike and Tina Turner, or Les Paul and Mary Ford? Sonny and Cher. Which blind singer was 13 years old when his single Fingertips hit number one on the Billboard charts in 1963? Ray Charles, Andrea Bocelli, or Stevie Wonder? Stevie Wonder. What was the Beatles' first studio album? Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Abbey Road, or Please Please Me. Please Please Me. Which British rock band released their critically acclaimed rock opera Tommy in 1969? The Who, Queen, or The Rolling Stones? The Who. In 1960, which American singer released Stuck On You, his first single after completing military service? Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, or Buddy Holly? Elvis Presley. Which American country singer is known for his 1960s hit, Big Bad John and the Cajun Queen? Hank Williams, Jimmy Dean, or Roy Acuff? Jimmy Dean. Who was the lead vocalist of the Four Seasons? Frankie Valli, Dean Martin, or Tommy DeVito? Frankie Valli. Which Simon and Garfunkel song was featured in the 1967 film, The Graduate? Cecilia, Kathy's song, or Mrs. Robinson? Mrs. Robinson. Which British actress sang multiple songs for The Sound of Music in 1965? Judy Dench, Joan Plowright, or Julie Andrews? Julie Andrews. Which question is the title of a 1965 song by Tom Jones? Who Let the Dogs Out? What Does the Fox Say? Or What's the New Pussycat? What's new, Pussycat? 
Which of the following albums was not recorded by the Rolling Stones? Out of Our Heads, Electric Ladyland, or Beggar's Banquet? Electric Ladyland. Which band topped the UK charts in 1969 with their album On the Threshold of a Dream? The Beatles, The Who, or The Moody Blues? The Moody Blues. Which 1960s musical features songs like I Feel Pretty, Jet Song and America, The Sound of Music, West Side Story, or Hello Dolly. West Side Story. Which girl group asked an unfaithful man to stop in the name of love? The Ronettes, the Supremes, or the Vandellas? The Supremes. Which rock band has You Shook Me and Your Time Is Gonna Come on their first self-titled album? Led Zeppelin, Aerosmith, or Guns N' Roses? Led Zeppelin. Who released I'm Into Something Good in 1964? Gladys Knight and the Pips, Herman's Hermits, or Jerry and the Pacemakers? Herman's Hermits. Which Roger Miller song highlights the experience of a traveling hobo who does the bare minimum to get by? Walking in the Sunshine, King of the Road, or Dang Me. King of the Road. Who was the lead singer of the British pop band, The Blue Flames? George Harrison, George Strait, or George Fame? George Fame. Who sang the original 1967 version of Higher and Higher? Michael Jackson, Jackie Wilson, or Rick James? Jackie Wilson. Which Ray Orbison hit starts with the line, I was all right for a while, I could smile for a while. Oh, pretty woman. Crying or in dreams? Crying. Question 25. Who was the lead singer of Tommy Scott and the Senators? Tom Jones, Tom Rush, or Tom Petty? Tom Jones. What fun-loving American band is known for songs like I Get Around, Surfing USA, and Wouldn't It Be Nice? The Monkees, The Partridge Family, or The Beach Boys? The Beach Boys. Which of the following artists is considered one of the greatest guitar players of all time? Jimi Hendrix, Jimmy Buffett, or Jim Reeves? Jimi Hendrix. Which psychedelic 1969 song is six minutes long and features multiple strange samples, including spoken word, and the Hitler Youth Choir. Purple Haze, The Real Thing, or See Emily Play? The Real Thing. 
Which woman lent her first name to the first song on the Sounds of Leonard Cohen in 1967? Marianne Faithful, Diana Ross, or Suzanne Verdal? Suzanne Verdal. What 1968 Louis Armstrong song reflects on the beauty of trees of green, red roses too? When you're smiling, summertime, or what a wonderful world? What a wonderful world. Which Tom Jones hit affirms that it is normal to feel love, anger, and sadness? Help yourself, I know, or it's not unusual. It's not unusual. Which band is known for the song Daydream Believer? The Monkees, The Beatles, or The Partridge Family? The Monkees. Which of the following is not a tributary of the Nile River? Blue Nile, Wild Nile, or Red Nile? Red Nile. Which Belgian city hosted peace negotiations that ended the War of 1812? Brussels, Ghent, or Antwerp? Ghent. Which upbeat, repetitive Ray Charles song dominated the charts in 1961? I've Got a Woman, Nighttime is the Right Time, or Hit the Road Jack? Hit the Road Jack. Which Del Shannon hit features a lovesick man walking in the rain and singing why, why, why? Little Town Flirt, Runaway, or Hats Off to Larry? Runaway. Which 1960s star used her sultry voice to ask, is that all there is? Peggy Lee, Gladys Knight, or Ella Fitzgerald? Peggy Lee. What experimental 1968 song by the Civil Silver Apples featured beeps, electronic riffs, and hypnotic repetition? Sea Green Serenades, Oscillations, or Program? Oscillations. Which 1965 ballad by the Righteous Brothers laments that time goes by so slowly and time can do so much. Ebb tide, unchained melody, or just once in my life. Unchained melody. Which band song, a sang about how they relate to everyday people in 1968? Cool in the gang, Gladys Knight and the Pips or Sly and the Family Stone. Sly and the Family Stone. Which band used string chords and the swell of drums to start their 1967 hit to love somebody? The Bee Gees, the Beach Boys, or the Four Seasons? The Bee Gees. According to a 1968 song, who was the only man who could ever reach Dusty Springfield? The song of a preacher man, Jesus, or a traveling monk? The son of a preacher man. Who made a famous cover of Suspicious Minds in 1969 after the original Mark James version proved unsuccessful? Otis Redding, 
Frankie Valley, or Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. Which cartoon series used multiple variations of Linus and Lucy? A catchy melody by the Vince Guaraldi Trio. Peanuts, Danger Mouse, or The Pink Panther Show? Peanuts. In 1966, which singer sang about how his girlfriend assured him that everything is all right, uptight, out of sight? Stevie Wonder, John Lennon, or Neil Diamond? Stevie Wonder. Which band sings about a fun day at the beach in their 1964 hit, Under the Boardwalk? The Drifters, The Spinners, or The Ronettes? The Drifters. Which song was covered by both Irma Thomas and the Rolling Stones in 1964? Come Together, Time is on my side, or it's all over now. Time is on my side. Which 1968 Merle Haggard song is a tribute to hardworking mothers and their wayward children? Sing Me Back Home, Mama Tried, or Working Man Blues? Mama tried. Who sang the original 1967 version of Brown Eyed Girl? Jim Morrison, Neil Young, or Van Morrison? Van Morrison. Question 50. Which band released the upbeat pop hit You Really Got Me in 1964? The Police, The Kinks, or The Who? The Kinks. Who is the tragic subject of the 1967 ode by Bobby Gentry? Haley Joel, Mary Lauren, or Billy Joe? Billy Joe. Which band recorded the most famous version of Louie Louie in 1963? The Drifters, the Bee Gees, or the Kingsmen? The Kingsmen. Which Motown group released the catchy tune Be My Baby in 1963? The Ronettes, The Four Tops, or The Miracles? The Ronettes. Which singer paid tribute to his home in New York City with the 1968 song Subway Joe? Frankie Valli? Joe Batan or Ralphie Pagan? Joe Batan. What is the opening line of Simon and Garfunkel's 1965 hit song, The Sound of Silence? He rocks in the treetops all day long. There are no lyrics in this song or hello darkness, my old friend. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Which band found fame after they released Time of the Season in 1968? The Zombies, Vampire Weekend, or Werewolves of London? The Zombies. Which of the following songs was not recorded by the Velvet Underground? What goes on, no fun, or I'm waiting for the man. No fun. 
Which iconic jazz singer released the ballad at last in 1960? Ella Fitzgerald, Etta James, or Nina Simone? Etta James. Which bold 1968 song by Steppenwolf is considered one of the first metal songs? Born to be Wild, Everybody's Next One, or Barry Rides Again? Born to be Wild. Which song by the band features a troubled cast of colorful characters from a town called Nazareth? In a station, the wait, or don't do it? The wait. According to a Brazilian song from the early 1960s, which girl is tall and tan and young and lovely? Jessie's girl, the girl from Ipanema or my girl? The girl from Ipanema. Which country star was known for her 1961 hits I Fall to Pieces and Crazy? Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, or Patsy Cline? Patsy Cline. Which Cuban singer became the queen of salsa and showcased her heritage through her music in the 60s? Gloria Estefan, Celia Cruz, or Rita Marley? Celia Cruz. Which 1969 David Bowie song is a message from ground control to Major Tom? An occasional dream, God Knows I'm Good, or Space Oddity? Space Oddity. Who sang 1963 country hit Ring of Fire? Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, or Johnny Cash? Johnny Cash. Which sweet sounding singer warned other women not to flirt with her man in the song Fist City? Loretta Lynn, Peggy Lee, or Natalie Cole? Loretta Lynn. Who once sang that if you take a good look at his face, then his smile looks out of place and it's easy to trace the tracks of his tears? Smokey Robinson, Charlie Wilson, or Lionel Richie? Smokey Robinson. Which band is known for psychedelic rock songs like Eight Miles High and Triad? The Grateful Dead? The Miracles or The Birds. The Birds. What activity is featured in the 1965 song Remember by the Shangri-Las? Dancing in the rain, basking in the sun, or walking in the sand? Walking in the Sand. Which Tammy Wynette song topped the charts and caused controversy amid American feminists in 1969? Stand By Your Man, Your Good Girl's Gonna Go Bad, or D-I-V-O-R-C-E? Stand By Your Man. Which singer shared his love for his favorite places in songs like Wichita Lineman and Galveston, Glenn Campbell, Mick Jagger, or Gene Simmons? Glenn Campbell. Question 72. Which of the following guitarists was a founding member of the British rock band Cream? Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, 
or Brian May. Eric Clapton. What song was originally recorded by Dionne Warwick in 1963, then by Isaac Hayes in 1969? Walk on by, that's what friends are for, or changes. Walk on by. Which 1966 song by Buffalo Springfield calls for peace and speaks out against police brutality? Expecting to fly, for what it's worth, or Mr. Soul? For what it's worth. Which band is famous for taking elements of rock, jazz, blues, and pop to make songs like Light My Fire, The Who, The Zombies, or The Doors? The Doors. Who is the lead singer of Big Brother and The Holding Company? Otis Redding, Janis Joplin, or Kurt Cobain? Janis Joplin. Which family band released their first single, I Want You Back, in 1969? The Pointer Sisters, the Jackson Five, or the Carpenters? The Jackson Five. What song by the Mamas and the Papas starts with echoes of all the leaves are brown and the sky is gray? Monday, Monday, California Dreamin', or dedicated to the one I love? California Dreamin'. According to a 1965 hit by Nancy Sinatra, what kind of footwear is made for walking? Sandals, heels, or boots? Boots. Question 80. Which of the following singers is known for his powerful falsetto, which is showcased in Can't Take My Eyes Off You? Frankie Valli, Frank Sinatra, or Frankie Beverly? Frankie Valli. What song by Pete Rodriguez became popular in 1967 because of its call and response vocals Samba rhythms and Cuban melodies. I like it like that, La Bamba or Fango. La Bamba, excuse me. I like it like that. Which record label produced music by the Jackson Five, the Supremes, the Miracles, and many other R&B stars? Motown, Cadillac Records, or Atlantic? Motown. Which 1969 song by Frank Sinatra highlights the importance of living without regrets? My Way, New York, New York, or That's Life? My Way. Who released the protest anthem Blowing in the Wind in 1963? Bob Dylan, Marvin Gaye, or James Brown? Bob Dylan. What 1964 song by Sam Cooke starts with I was born by the river in a little tent? Another Saturday night? Wonderful world or a change is going to come. A change is going to come. Which Jamaican artist released I'm Still in Love with You in 1967 and was dubbed the King of Rocksteady? Bob Marley, 
Alton Ellis or Shaggy? Alton Ellis. Which married duo released River Deep Mountain High in 1966? Sonny and Cher, Peaches and Herb, or Ike and Tina Turner? Ike and Tina Turner. Which of the following songs by Creedence Clearwater Revival was made as a protest against the Vietnam War? It came out of the sky, Feel in Blue, or Fortunate Sun? Fortunate Sun. Which novel inspired Jefferson Airplane's 1967 song, White Rabbit? The Secret Garden, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, or Watership Down? Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Question 90, according to That's Life by Frank Sinatra, he is riding high in April and shot down in May. What happens in June? He gives up, he's back on top, or he finds something new. He's back on top. What 1969 Neil Diamond song is the official song of the Boston Red Sox and typically includes an audience ad lib of so good, so good. Sweet Caroline, Darling Clementine, or Roxanne? Sweet Caroline. Which band recorded a guitar heavy cover of All Along the Watchtower by Bob Dylan in 1968? Cream, Jimi Hendrix Experience, or The Doors? Jimi Hendrix Experience. According to 1968 song, how did Marvin Gaye learn that his lover planned to leave him? A little bird told him he heard it through the grapevine or he's a psychic. He heard it through the grapevine. Which girl group released Dancing in the Street in 1964? The Supremes, the Pointer Sisters, or Martha and the Vandellas? Martha and the Vandellas. Which Otis Redding song is known for its carefree whistle tune and its imagery of a lazy afternoon? Sitting on the dock of the bay, USA or Chile? Okay, this is obviously a mistake. Sitting on the dock of the bay. That was a freebie. Which 1965 song by The Who highlights British mob themes and youth counterculture through call and response lyrics? Out in the street, please, 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 or my generation? My generation. According to My Girl by The Temptations, what does the singer have when it's cold outside? Sunshine, a fur coat, or the month of May. The month of May. Who is the godfather of soul, an artist who made history in 1965 with his songs, I Got You and Papa's Got a Brand New Bang? Bobby Womack, James Brown, or Teddy Pendergrass? James Brown. Which 1965 song by Bob Dylan features a young woman's fall from grace, from rags to riches, like a Rolling Stone, Desolation Row, or Tombstone Blues? Like a Rolling Stone. Which American artist released You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman in 1967? Dionne Warwick, Mary Wilson, or Aretha Franklin?
Aretha Franklin. And our bonus question, who was the original drummer for the Beatles? Let us know the answer in the comments. And as always, thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.